Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I bought this wheel the other day from the car boot. Um, it was £10, but it's all locked, so the, the axle and the free hub just ain't moving. So we're going to take it apart and uh, have a look, see if we can see if we can find out what's wrong and try and fix it. And hopefully it might help someone out there that's got a similar problem. I don't know exactly what's wrong. It could be seized bearings or it could be a problem with the uh, inside of the, the free hub. But uh, let's find out. Right, let's take out the axle. So, it should be a 17mm on the one side and on the other. That's it. It's a fully sealed hub, so there won't be any cons. So you've just got that uh, end of the axle there that comes out, a little spacer. And then your free up can come out. Well, we can see a problem there straight away. We've got another spicer. And then, of course, the axle can come out. Yeah, so that bearing ain't moving. And neither is that one. It looks in very good condition though, it don't look like, I'd say it's probably just been maybe not used for a while, it's also seized up. Right, so we've got this metal clip that holds all your, your clutches in place and uh, allows them to spring, spring back to engage but as you can see, it's come away there. So let's take off these clutches. Just got some tweezers here. So if you just grab it on the one end, you can pull it off. And it'll just be hooked inside there. So you can turn that out and it comes out there like that. Now that is supposed to be you know flat all the way around so it's just come out of place and got snagged. So you've got the choice you can sort of try and manipulate that back in place and get it to the right shape but considering how bent up it is and stuff, you might be, if you've got something like that, just to replace it, if you can get older one. Um, obviously, you know I'm gonna try and fix it. I have got a fair few spares, so I will check, see if I've got uh, another one that size. So I'll be back shortly. If you haven't got any spares, like I said, with enough patience, you can, try and get that back to shape and you want it holding your clutches in well so you want it sort of like that sort of shape so when it expands it's tension against your, your clutches so I've got this one why too small? That looks a bit bigger. Should be careful when you're removing these because can uh, make them go out of shape and ruin them. 
So you can see how that one sort of crosses each other. And that is actually a good size, it looks about the right. Yeah, about the right sort of size we need, look. But it's ain't got that L shape on it, like that one. But I can't imagine that being essential. Right, so if we try and first put our clutches on. I always call them clutches, but they're called poles, aren't they? Poles, poles, something like that. Anyway. Right, so with them all in place, them things. You can put it on first and then put these in, but we'll try it this way first. So with that, like that. Stretch it on. I don't think this is going to go for a moment. Oh, which one is it now? It's got mixed up with ours lot now. Take two. Springing back nice, and there'll be more tension on that on that spring when this one's in as well. So if you get to this point, just hold out the metal spring while you push in the clutch. There we go. Now you can see where that metal spring is finished right on that clutch you don't want that you want it to be here so what we'll go do if you just push it round from that other end and it finishes there now look so that one there and that one there so it is a bit shorter this spring but as long as it's out the way of the clutch just holding it and then holding them in place fine. Just one problem, put the clutching back as they are. Oh, you idiot. Turn that around. You can't get these in wrong. Obviously I did, but you'll notice. Okay, and there you go. Just make sure that it's equal either side of that clutch. So you've got finishing there and finishing there, and obviously it wraps around and it's holding all three of them in. And you just press them. There's some real tension behind them. Make it louder as well. So that is that fixed, which is good news. So we can. Uh, cross that off the list so what I'm going to do now I know the bearings are not moving very easy if I put it back together it could be a case of it's been, it's been stood for a while uh, I can see a bit of corrosion in there though because it might just be holding holding it let's put it back together and uh, see if we can get it moving as it should I need to clean my shed can't move in here. You can see how quick that's slowing down. Our bearings are just completely and utterly stuck. We're gonna to have to take one of the seals off the bearings just to just to have a look, see if they're all caked in rust. It's a shame if uh, if we can't save it because that free hub, 
the condition of the inside of that is mint. Right, took me three up back out. Let's have a look. Start with uh, this seal. We've just got this little needle pick. I'm just gently prise it out without causing too much damage. Yeah, so it's still it's still greased in there. Um but it's just rust that's actually holding it all. But these are good good solid bearings and I wouldn't say that this has done that many miles. We need to free it up. Free it up, put some fresh some fresh grease in there and hopefully it should be good. Let's just have a look at these condition of these bearings inside the hub. Look at them. They're fine. Well, this side is anyway. This shaft is locked as well. So I'm guessing the culprit is this bearing this side. Yeah, so you can see the difference. So it's this side that's locking it. Well, it's the next day now, and I've managed to get myself uh, a new bearing to replace that one. Nice, decent bearing. Um, I've got ourselves a makeshift bearing puller to put that in, so let's get that sorted. So I'm just going to put a bit of grease just around the edge of the hub. So the bearing was £4.50. Uh, the wheel was 10, so we're up to 14.50 so far. Slotted in roughly the same sort of depth before I pull it. Okay. So I've got this massive socket that's just going to fit on this section of the hub here that long bolt in the washer The original end there for a bolt on so we've got something to, to hold if need be Right, let's hold that one nut on that side. We can start winding in the bearing. Let's get it all back together. So just a couple of things before I put it back together. I'd forgot to put the center spacer in. 
as you can see it's in there now so i had to take out the bearing put that back in but a bit of a mission but that's now done also that spring that i used around the free up um it was coming away so it was sort of ma making its way around so it did have to go back to the original l-shape one which as you can see i've got it back to shape Not perfect, but I can now put that back together with the original part and it should be just as good. So I'll get that back together, put the free up and the axle back in and let's have a look uh, and see what we've got. All right, so that's all the original spring back in and they're working absolutely fine. Right, let's get it back together. Just a little bit of grease along this. I've got my spice from this side already. It's just got a bit of grease on there holding it. We'll put our axle in. I'm just going to use my finger on the other side just to line that centre spice axe. It was off. That's here, that's allowed that axle to go on there. So I'm just gonna push it just a little bit like that, so five, 10 mil sticking out, just so I can get that spacer on. It'll make it a bit easier just to put more free up on rather than the axle coming all the way through. because you've got less movement uh, to get your poles in place. I'll put a little bit of oil on the poles, no grease, just a little bit of this wet lube. Uh, so we can offer that in now. I'm just turning anti-clockwise as I'm winding it in. Pressing down on that one pole there. And there it is in place. But now the spice is in and the free hub's on. I can push the axle all the way through. Put our final spicer on. And then the locking nut. Right, let's give that a tweak. Just need to uh, just to lock it in place, nip it. We don't need to over tighten. There we go. It's absolutely perfect it's smooth it's not too smooth where it's just rolling free ups working and sounds good I'm happy with that so four pound fifty bearing and we've got a fully working hub and a very usable wheel Well, that's it guys as you've seen fairly easy relatively easy fix um one thing i did forget to mention was the bearings in the free up what i did with them because them was uh, slightly seized i just um basically got this sort of axle inside the free up and give, it, give them a tap here the side and that just loosened the surface corrosion that's all it was the, the bearings there was nothing wrong with them it just needed loosening up um so yeah that's another one uh, another one saved and uh i hope it's helpful to someone who's got a similar problem with their wheel so uh thanks for watching until next time goodbye